Hey everybody, I'm Nathaniel Dodson from tutvid.com. Welcome into this Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at creating some really cool custom vector textures, and I think you might just like it. So let's jump in and get started right now. All right, the first part of this process is to find a photo in which there is a lot of texture. I have a bitmap grunge pattern here. It's a stock photo that I'm going to use, uh, but any photo really of concrete metal or any textured surface would work just as well. Drag that photo into your Illustrator document, and I'll look over to my Properties panel and hit the Image Trace button, and I'm going to choose the black and white logo preset option. I'm also going to go Window Image Trace to open that panel and customize this a little by twirling down the little advanced options. I'm going to set the threshold option right around 230. I'll set the paths to 100%, set the corners to 1%, and most importantly, set the noise to 1 pixel. I'm also going to check on the Ignore White option. Once we have our trace, I'll look back to my Properties panel and hit the Expand button to break down the artwork. Next, I'll grab the text tool. I'll type out the word Grunge. I'm using the font Futura PT. The bold oblique weight is what I'm going with, and 350 points for size, and then just any color you want. I'm going with the color orange. Select that grunge texture we just made and go edit cut to cut the grunge artwork to our clipboard and then hit the opacity options in the properties panel and double click the open gray area to the right of our artwork thumbnail to create a layer mask. Uncheck the clip option and then go edit paste to paste the texture into this mask. Grab the selection tool and move and transform the texture until we get an effect on our text that we like. Next, simply click on the artwork thumbnail in this flyout panel to return to a normal editing mode. And ladies and gentlemen, we have just created and implemented a beautiful and effective vector grunge mask that we built from a bitmap image right here in Adobe Illustrator.